गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू मॉर्निंग कॉल आई एम लता वेंकटेश श्वतनी अनुज सिंगल एंड सोनिया शनॉय वेल इट्स नॉट अ ग्रेट हैंड ओवर वी हैव गॉट फ्रॉम ग्लोबल क्यूज बट इट्स नॉट टेरिबली नेगेटिव द फ्लैट वॉल स्ट्रीट एंड एशिया लार्जली मिक्सड the there are some spots of green like in the nikkei uh, shanghai is well it, it would count as flat going by the shanghai's normal performance but there are some shades of red as well if you looked at other asian markets uh, the positive for india perhaps is that crude is a tad lower and uh, that might make it uh, a little better for india even the domestic queues i mean the earnings season is playing to form uh, there aren't any outstanding positives or negatives and uh, fii numbers 500 crores is good but it's getting negated by uh, domestic uh, selling so really at this point in time the the game can go anywhere oh yes it can and uh, the good part is that fii's have been buying for eight consecutive sessions now so at least that's a positive that we can take home Absolutely. and the fact that there was another 500 crores of buying yesterday but as you said you know the us markets have ended marginally in the red and over there there are some earnings disappointments as well so ibm reported a 14% drop in its revenues in quarter 3 and that was not taken very well uh the stock itself was down almost about 6% but the economic data continues to be very strong in the US so the housing starts uh, closed at an 8 year high in the month of September uh well uh, that could be taken both ways uh, if the data is good then perhaps the rate hike could come early uh, so you know all of that put together caused a bit of profit taking in the US markets <coughs> uh, but anuj morning uh, we faced a bit of he- hurdle at the higher end yes. of our markets as well around that 8300 zone uh, you think that could be a key resistance zone Morning Sonia you know yesterday the european markets were down quite a bit while we were trading and that's why you know you saw that dip around 8200 mark but that was bought uh, the market didn't quite end at high point of the day but it clearly bounced off the low point of the day and ended somewhere in the middle so the sense you get is that this is a buy on dips market yesterday's fi buy number is bigger than the previous day and i'll tell you why because yesterday the net buy number was only 500 crore yeah. but the gross buy number was a good 2000 crore more so you know th- that i think is, is always a bigger number to watch out for and yesterday there was some delivery based buying in big stocks infosys for example there was 400 crores of delivery based buying i was really impressed with delivery based buying in non index stocks you know a couple of power stocks surged in trade yesterday there was some delivery based buying It's, that was really the the pocket to watch out for uh, but uh, you know i take lata's point the di is selling is negating that and you do get a sense that uh, in the medium term dis have a better sense about the market direction so this and the selling is now no longer an aberration it's going mm. on for 8 to 10 now. days now is it because the general public is now redeeming at higher levels after seeing the kind of fall that had taken place or is it just fund managers you know getting into cash to get to invest at better levels that's something that we'll need to talk to uh, you know some of the fund managers to find out uh, but you know at the end of the day it's it's about stocks and stocks are doing well mid caps are continuing to outperform yesterday also you saw a bit of outperformance from the mid caps and earnings have been good so many mid cap earnings have done well and you know we'll talk about some of them in our top 10 segment as well uh, some chinks in the armor fi is are now booking profits in index futures continuously and now there are about 6 days left in this series So that is one part which is clearly not supporting the market the index futures buying that was taking place at the start of the series not happening. that is not taking place and now 6 days to go for the for the expiry tomorrow is a market holiday so that makes things a bit complicated mm. in the second half today 6 days to go this highest open interest at 8300 call and at 8200 put my sense is that the nifty now gravitates in this 100 point band 8200 to 8300 for at least for next 2 or 3 days if one of these two marks taken out you have a big trend move otherwise mm. you stay in this band and mid caps do well but in that i think yesterday the market gave you first signs of warning in in terms of not overstaying your welcome and the case in point was spicejet and jet airways you know you see the intraday charts of both these names both spicejet and jet airways yesterday that was the first indication that at least there's one space where you know you maybe overstayed your welcome uh, and the market gave you enough warning signs and those warning signs may start appearing in other mid caps as well if this kind of trend continues all right